Now, we've already driven a ton of VRSs on the channel. Stage 3 VRS 245 with all-wheel drive, a 600 bhp VRS, Stage 2 VRSs, stock VRSs. Mostly, we've done everything. This over here is also a VRS. Yes, we are kind of running out of content, but there is something special about this VRS 245 that's sitting here. This is a APR DTR Turbo VRS 245, and this is one of the hottest new turbos for this car. And I'm going to tell you all about this amazing build done over here by Unimec Racing Goa. Now you already know our opinions on how the VRS looks, we absolutely love it. So we're not going to mess around and directly talk about what's hiding underneath the hood. Now this being a CBU car, the engine bay release is actually on the right hand side. And once you open up the engine bay, as you can see, yep, this thing is far from stock. The owner of this car has spent a good amount of money on the mods and he's gotten some really, really tasteful things done to it. Now let me just open up my phone because the mod list is very, very long. So, first of all, you have an integrated engineering version to intercooler. You also have intercooler hoses. You have a racing line R600 uh, intake system. Then you have the APR Stage 3 DTR 6054 turbo which is absolutely massive if you can see it over here i'm pretty sure shreshd will overlay some sort of a shot of b-roll and that thing is genuinely the size of my head apart from that you have an apr uh, ecu and tcu tune you have apr hard boost pipes you have super pro front strut mounts you have a leo catch can system with these amazing braided lines and yeah this thing is a thorough thorough build there's no stone left under turn when it comes to this build. So let's quickly talk about what all has been done on the exterior in terms of the cosmetics and the wheels and the brakes and all of that and then we'll talk about the power figures of this thing. Now first of all I absolutely adore when a VRS has been finished in this amazing looking blue color it just looks spectacular now this car has some cosmetic mods done to it uh, up front you have this Maxton design front lip kit come down to the side you have these amazing looking bronze Motec uh, racing wheels which just look amazing in my opinion and behind the wheels you have this massive big brake kit by AP Racing which is 355 mm I'm pretty sure that's going to be super super powerful when it comes to braking the wheels are wrapped around with Michelin PS4 tires which are again super sticky and come around to the rear you again have some Maxton parts like the diffuser. Overall I think so this is a very clean looking car I just love the look of the VRS in general especially with this color combo with the wheels. Yep, looks absolutely amazing. So let's hop into the interior take it for a quick test drive and talk about how much power and how fast this thing is. Yep, even I am super excited to drive this thing. But before we go for a quick drive, let me just touch up on the interior. And I think so the VRS has an amazing interior. You get these beautiful suede leather uh, sports seats with the VRS logo embossed over here on the headrest. This amazing looking VRS flat bottom steering wheel with perforated leather and red stitching. You have your uh, transmission over here in the middle. You have this virtual cockpit, which only the VRS 245 got, the 230 didn't get it and again amazing graphics you have a massive infotainment system in the middle with uh, Apple CarPlay Android Auto so let's stop flaffing about and drive this car because I'm pretty sure you already know all about the interior but you probably don't know what this thing can do with this amazing APR DTR turbo let's go for a spin all right so I'm sitting in the VRS 245 with the APR DTR turbo currently it's normal mode I'm gonna put it into sports I'm not going to turn the traction off because, well, it's not my car. Uh, put the gearbox into manual, click the paddles just for safety, and we'll give it a quick little. Oh my god! front wheel drive drive train is just madness 
and the way the turbo spools and once it hits boost it's just <laughs> insane so this thing makes 420 horsepower and i'm pretty sure if you put a little bit more of an aggressive map it will make more something like a custom map from a standalone tuner or a private tuner will definitely help make this car much more power currently it's running an apr ecu and tcu map so everything is a little bit more controlled you know apr wants to sell maps to everyone across the globe so this map must be a little bit conservative but still this thing is ballistic once you hit boost in this thing DTR has come along with some better design with its turbine you know a couple of better designs here and there inside the turbo itself you can put it into a VRS and it is quite the monster once you put it in and is absolutely insane and moreover you don't have to worry about anything because this is a 245 so the gearbox that you get in this car is the DQ381 7 speed DSG and this thing has no problem at all handling all of this power and the other thing is that this thing is still quite controlled because it has a very clever traction control system and also it has the VAQ differential up front so it still manages the power very well and very gracefully you know you're not spinning about all over the place the car is still going in a straight line even when you're wheel spinning that being said the wheel spin is quite prominent and yeah these brakes are absolutely insane the ap racing 355 mm big brake kit is a must have when you're pushing this much amount of power next level So if you all don't know I'm looking to sell my Lora so do check it out on TDH classifieds and in place of the Lora I am genuinely considering to buy a VRS 230 not a 245 I'm not that rich yet but I just can't stop smiling that's how fun to drive this thing is Oh my god I know we've driven more quote unquote capable cars than this particular car over here because of the all wheel drive system probably because of the more power that it can make with like the car like the VRS 600 but there is still something which is really fun about having a front wheel drive setup and having a engine that makes so much power 420 bhp is no joke and yeah Definitely all of that power going to the front wheels means it's much more exciting it's not point and shoot like all of the other cars that we've driven and that's something that definitely puts a smile on my face because I like some sort of drama and this thing definitely de delivers on the drama part of things 
and moreover we're planning to get a vrs for the channel very very soon so probably something like this will be on the channel on the regular in the not too distant future so thank you so much for watching this video do follow unimec racing goa on instagram because they have uh, given us some amazing cars to film uh, this is one of the craziest vrs 245s i've seen lots of goodies on the car so definitely check them out give them a follow on instagram and if you want to buy a car like this do check out tdh classifieds uh, follow us on instagram check out our website subscribe to our channel and i'll catch you in the next one